Good afternoon everyone, my name is Dave from PCB Solution and today I'm going to show you how to repair a damaged hard drive. So what we have in front of us is a hard drive that will not power on and that is because my colleague plugged in the wrong power supply and now the circuit board has a fried chip on it. So I'll zoom in here and try to show you the chip and it's, if you guys, I'm not sure you can see it but there's a slight bump on this chip right here and this chip is burnt. So if I try to power it on right now you will notice no reaction from the drive whatsoever and I plug into my computer just to show you what's a possible symptom. Right now it's being noticed as a USB to IDE SATA, ID SATA device USB device. So basically it's only recognizing my adapter here and it's not recognizing the drive at all. So if this happened to you, for example, a lightning strike or a power surge, uh, it's actually a, a very easy problem to fix. You just have to, in most cases, replace the circuit board and your hard drive should be working again. There are some cases where the power surge is so severe they damage some internal components as, as well, but that is fairly rare. So I will, if, so I will go ahead and uh, remove the circuit board from the hard drive. What you need is a T7 or a T8 Torx screwdriver. You can find these at most electronics stores. And on the back of the circuit board, sometimes it will come, uh, come attached with a cushioning pad. And this is to insulate the circuit board and it's pretty important so you should remove this uh, pad and put it back on the hard drive. Alright. And now I'm ready to put on a new circuit board so I have one prepared here. And uh, to put it on just basically just fit it where it was before and put back all the screws. Of course putting screwing it off and putting it back on is a pretty tedious process but it's necessary if you want to save your hard drive here we go there we go So we just got one more. And I'm done. Alright, now I'm going to power it on. So first I'm going to reconnect all the cords. I'm ready to power it on. Okay, I hope you can hear the drive powering on. But uh, I'm not sure, so listen for it. Alright, so I heard I hope you heard the drive. And now it's being detected in my system. And there it is. Master 6Y080L0. So if your hard drive is being detected in your system, then it means your circuit board is working. So if your hard drive is already being detected in your system, then you should not try getting a new circuit board, instead you should try getting a data recovery software of some kind. So now if you're wondering where you can get a replacement circuit board for your hard drive, you can try our website, and that is located at www.1pcbsolution.com, and there's our address right there. It's a bit long, but it should be easy to memorize. And here's our email address, info at 1pcbsolution.com. So if you have any questions or comments, just send us an email. So if you look, take a look at our webpage, our uh, homepage, you will see uh, some, if you scroll down, you will see some guides here, and they're intended to find the perfect match for your hard drive. So for example, I, you have a, say you have a Maxer Dynamax 10 SATA hard drive. Just click on this icon here, and it basically tells you where to find all the necessary information. So just follow, follow the guide. 
I'm, I'm going to pick an imaginary drive specification right now and just, just to show you uh, how to use the guide. So there are only two steps and after that you'll find the perfect match for your hard drive right there. So on the item page you will see all the specifications of the hard drive uh, and on the, on the, over here is how to match it to your hard drive just in case the guide has malfunctioned. So that pretty much concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, remember you can always email us. And here's our email address again, info at onepcbsolution.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video, and best of luck with your data recovery.